Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin and welcome officially to Vlogmas. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We are doing Vlogmas this year and this is December 1st, meaning this is the first video of Vlogmas. Are you excited? Because I am. Um, as always, we are starting the month with a shot my stash and a get ready with me at the end. So come with me. I'm going to pick out some products from my stash. We're going to do a bright, fun, colourful makeup look at the end. I'm so excited. Some of these drawers may look a little bare because I've been doing my declutter series, which is coming very, very soon. So if you have not already, like and subscribe because you do not want to miss Vlogmas. There is so many declutters, bright, colourful looks, project pans, shot my sashes. Oh my God, so much amazing stuff. You do not want to miss it. But here we are. I'm going to pick out some stuff to put on my face today. Um, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. I have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do. So let's start over here with my primers. Okay, this is my little primer stash. Um, I think I'm gonna take this. This is my collection filter finish. Can you see it? There we go. <laughs> um, I've not really, I don't know, I've not really got a good understanding of this. I didn't declutter it because I don't really know it that well and I do wanna get to know it a little bit more. So I am gonna keep that. I am doing my shot mustaches a little bit differently. Um, I'll probably start it this month, why not? I am gonna be actually keeping these products out and kind of reviewing them throughout the month. I wanna do what Hayley O is doing and she's like reviewing her whole collection throughout the year. I think that's really fun because there's so many things that I don't know about. So yeah, I am gonna be keeping these out as well as doing a get ready with me with them. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> Concealers, here we go. I do have some in a project pan. Uh, my project pan items are not in my drawers. They are stored elsewhere. But um, I'm gonna, you know what? This has not had any love from me. This is the collection Lasting Perfection. If it focuses, that'd be great. Yeah, this has been really neglected. It's not had any love from me. So I'm going to put this on my face. Okay, I just moved you to the other side of the drawer. This is my foundations on what's left of them. Um, Yeah, this is a little bit, it, it makes me a little bit sad. I'm not gonna lie. I know I have this like hoarder mentality, but I've actually been using this. This is a side note. Oh, I dropped it. This is a side note, I've been using this Kiko foundation like every day and it's so good. I forgot how good it was. Um, anyway, uh, I had to get rid of so many foundations because my skin reacted really badly to them, which is a shame. I'm gonna pick out this. Yeah, I'm gonna pick out this. This is the Makillo foundation. I actually have an affiliate code with these. I'll link it down below, but it's like super, super full coverage, SPF sweat resistant, long wearing, all that kind of jazz. So yeah, I wanna just play around with it a little bit more. I did get sent that in PR, just in case you were wondering. And I have two other colors as well. Eh, these are definitely more summer shades. And I'm gonna pick this, an oldie but a goodie. Coat ES yes, bun. Uh, I've been doing my powder a lot differently recently, but I don't know, I wanna mix it up a little bit. Uh, I wanna. I don't know. You know what it is? I saw Bailey Sarian. This is Bailey Sarian's fault. I saw her baking the other day and I was like, oh, baking. I should do that again. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Probably not, but uh, we'll try it anyway. Okay, this is my vastly barren cheek drawer. I will zoom in, but I just wanted to give you an overall look. Like there's nothing in here. <laughs> it feels so empty. Um, But... To be honest, I don't know what I want to pick. Um, so these are the face palettes that survived. I want to pick this. This is so good and it's so inexpensive. No one ever talks about it. This is the Technic Blush Palette. Let me just like switchy swatchy for you. I'm hoping you can see how bright that is. These are so pigmented and I want to play around with them. I'll only use one of those colors obviously today, but throughout the month I will try and test all of them. Okay, so that leads us on to bronzer and highlighter. 
E. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't used this in forever. This is Ofra. It's the shade Format. Everyone hates this, but I love it. Uh, but I ha this is definitely my oldest bronzer. I do want to finish this in the coming year. You can see uh, the rings on it. So hopefully I'm not that far away from hitting pan on it, but I want to use it again just before I commit to uh, panning it next year because I don't want to commit to panning it and then I don't like it because <laughs> I've done that way too many times before. It is not fun. I do not like doing that. And then seeing as we're going with old products, let's do good old glazed donut. Who remembers this bad boy? This is the old packaging. It's got a pan on it. I do want to finish this at some point, but I am currently panning like how many highlighters? Way too many. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pick this and I'm going to play around with it a little bit. Okay, the drawer, <laughs> the eyeshadow drawer. I've not currently um, filmed my declutter when I'm filming this. So yeah, this is going to be sorted out. I promise this is not how it is going to end. This needs to be sorted out but I do know the palette that I want to pull. And it's all the way down here off camera. <laughs> this is my Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. Everyone loves this, me included. This is what she looks like. How stunning, how beautiful. I adore this. I have a look in mind, but I won't actually be able to film the get ready with me for a few days, which is annoying. But uh, you know, oh well, um, but yeah. I'm inspired by Make Me Up Missa. She inspires me every day. I'm so happy she's back on YouTube. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so excited to pull this palette out again. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you back up to the top. Okay, so these are my lip drawers. I have no idea where to put my mic. Uh, <laughs> technical difficulty, hang on. Okay, that took me way too long to figure out, but we're here, it's fine. Um, so, lips. This, again, is gonna look very, very different because I did declutter this, but I want like a nudie, like maybe a warm nude. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this bottom shade here. This is Oh Snap from Colourpop. Are we in focus? I can't tell. Not the pink one, but the more nudie one. And I do want like a glitter. Oh, I know what I want. I want this. This is Lynx. This, I hope you can see, it's like a pink to blue to purple almost. It is so beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna take that. And then you know what, why not? Let's take, oh, I don't know which, I don't know which eyeliner I want. I'm gonna take both of them and then see, this is Morphe Poolside and then Barry M caution that's the one so yeah i'm gonna take these two if i need any more i will pull them but with that let's let's go to the get ready with me okay so it is actually a few days later i've put some tape on because we're gonna do another big like winged out kind of look uh but yeah a few days later i i hope i've got all the products <laughs> i'm pretty sure i have so yeah let's jump into it i'm doing my eyes first because i am going to be using this pigment I don't really want fallout everywhere. So I'm gonna start with Hex, which is the black. If I remember correctly, this black is super pigmented. I have really missed using this palette. It is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, and yeah, I, haven't, I definitely haven't used it as much as I would have liked this year. So why not use it a bit today? Okay, now I'm gonna take Cursed, which is the dark blue shade. So in my main Shop My Stash section of this video, I did mention that I'm gonna be doing uh, things a little bit different in my Shop My Stashes coming up. I'm basically going to be doing it a little bit like I used to, but with the Get Ready With Me is still happening. Uh, so I'm gonna keep the products out for a little bit and I'm going to kind of test them throughout the month because I want to do something like Hayley O is doing. Hayley is kind of like reviewing a whole collection and getting a good grip on 
everything that she owns and I think that is amazing because there are so many things in my collection that I don't know how they work and it makes me really sad because I don't know I've spent money on that product and I have no idea <laughs> what it what it's like and it makes it really hard when it comes to declutters um because I don't know <laughs> I am gonna bring this blue out a little bit as well just to start making that wing so yeah this coming year like obviously I still want to project pan I still want to finish a bunch of products I still want to hit pan on a bunch of products but it's going to be more um my wider collection I think and seeing what I like what I don't like what I want to get rid of um and just like really getting to know my whole stash instead of a select number of products. I do have like a big spreadsheet and it's got all of my blushes, bronzers, highlighters and eyeshadow palettes and as I use them I'm gonna like be writing up a little mini review on the spreadsheet just to kind of keep track of everything. Okay now I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna mix two shades together I think. I think I'm gonna mix Trick which is the mid-tone blue and I'm also gonna mix Bewitched which is like the teal, like a mid-tone teal. I'm going to mix them both together and then start blending out this dark blue. So yeah, also this is the first video of Vlogmas that you're seeing. How crazy is that? Um, it's that time again. I've been working very, very hard. Um, I am in full-time uni as well, so it's been really difficult to try and get vlogmas kind of sorted and prepared for you guys but uh, as of filming this I've done the first week already and it's the 26th today so I've done all of my normal November uploads and I have also done the first week of vlogmas. I am planning to get a lot more videos done over my weekends. You will probably see this look in I think three videos. I'm planning to film two Pardon me, I hiccuped. <laughs> I'm planning to do two other videos as well today. But they will come later on in the month. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot. It's been crazy, but it's so worth it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Wish, which is this more greeny, teal, uh, light matte. And I'm going to finish off the little wing with this. But I'm so excited for other people's vlogmases as well. Vlogmases? Is that the plural? Vlogmai? <laughs> That's definitely not it. Um, but yeah, I know Angelica Nyfist has already started. I'm loving that. I think, I, isn't Royal Beauty Christie coming back for, for vlogmas? I heard that through the grapevine. That should be interesting. Um, but yeah, so much content coming out in December and it's so important as well guys support your favorite creators through vlogmas I know it's a lot I know people don't have time to watch all all the videos but it is a really vital time for creators um so if you do support a creator not just me anyone really do support their vlogmas it is very very important we do it for a reason <laughs> okay so they're the blues I'm really loving this already. Uh, I will go off and like blend it, everything again. But on this inner part, I'm gonna do Sorcery, which is this purple. I'm not too keen on purples, as a lot of you know. I'm trying to look for a, a brush that will work. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too keen on purples, but you know what? I think this will really work for this look. I haven't actually done like really bright makeup in quite a while I did like a pink uh big wing which you would have seen in my rolling project pan that was nice I enjoyed doing that but just because of uni and because of like everything going on right now I've been doing very safe looks so it's nice to just do a wild look once in a while and I know you guys love them as well so yeah I always try and do like big looks for my shop my stashes because I don't want to like just do a brown look. I know I did a brown look last month 
but it was a halo eye. It was dramatic still. I'm giving myself permission for that. But uh, yeah, I don't just want to do a one and done look with my shot mustaches. I always try and do something a little bit different. Okay, and then with the same brush, I'm going to go with Enchanted, which is the like very, very pale purple. And I'm just going to blend that out. Okay, this is what we're looking like. This is the mattes on. I'm loving it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a base for shimmer. But I don't know which one I want to do. I'm going to go in with Jinx first. Which is like this dark grey. I'm going to pop that on the outer part. Yeah, I don't know how I like that. Uh, I'm going to go in with Spell maybe? I don't know which shade will be good. Okay, I'm going to go in, this might be cheating a little bit with my High Tide palette, just because there's no light shimmers in this. And I'm going to go in with Free Floating, I think, which is this really light teal shimmer. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. I just don't want it to be too dark, you know? Okay, now for the good stuff. Uh, I've, I'm just going to put on one dot of Inglot Duraline. I find this is so much easier than glitter glue because I can actually take it off at the end of the day without like scrubbing my eyes to oblivion. So that's nice. <laughs> okay, so we have the shade Lynx. I think this is going to be a good one. I used, you'll see it in the next video actually, Milky Way. That was amazing. So stay tuned for my Pan That Palette update, which is coming tomorrow to see a stunning, another stunning pigment. Okay, that is what this looks like. Very shimmery, very beautiful. Uh, let me, I'll do this on camera actually, because I know people like it. Are you ready? Oof. I know you're not actually supposed to put like proper tape on your eyes, but you know what? I'm a rebel, so deal with it. <laughs> Boom. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, off camera, hiccup again, apparently, um, and clean this up, blend it a little bit more, uh, clean off all the glitters that are probably on my forehead and all the way down my neck, probably. Um, and then I will come back and we'll do the base together. So, yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, let's move on to my base because the more I am under these lights with exposed skin, the more I want to pick my skin. And we don't want to do that. We don't. So we're using the collection, what is it? Filter Finish. Ooh, I'm just going to pop it on from the applicator. I don't know how much, but there you go. So yeah, let's talk about my skin, actually. Um, it's not great. As you can see, it's not brill. But it's better than it has been, believe it or not. <laughs> it's a lot better than it has been. I basically bought a lot more, like, new skincare, just in case the breakout was caused by, like, old skincare. That's helped quite a bit. Uh, I've also got some... What is it? It's over here. I showed this in my no buy. They are herbal acne relief tablets from Holland and Barrett. I've only used one, two, three, four, five so far. It's two a day, so you're not really going to be able to see much of a difference. But I've noticed I'm getting less like big cystic acne. Like I've got one here, one here, and one here. But I'm getting a lot more like tiny little whitehead dots kind of thing. Um, so if anyone knows how to get rid of them, well, let a girl know. <laughs> but they're not too noticeable unless I'm sat under these lights. Um, and that's why I don't really like sitting under them with no makeup on. Because they make my skin look horrendous. <laughs> Before I do my foundation, I have been liking spot concealing. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, and I'm going to use my Makillo foundation. Again, I will link the affiliate link down below. Uh, you guys get 20% off with my link. And it also does support my channel. So if you do use that link, thank you very much. It really means the world to me and it helps me out a lot. 
but this is like full, <laughs> full, full, full coverage. And I'm using the shade One Porcelain. But yeah, the battle with my skin continues as always. Um, it, I just want it to be over. I want it to be done so bad. But oh well, we continue, we move. Um, I did speak about my like pimple popping addiction. I've literally, I used to have like a mirror on my desk. I've moved it. I've literally hidden it away from myself because I would literally sit here and as I said, under these lights, my skin looks awful. So I'd put my lights on and I would spend hours, literally hours, just like any raised pore popped. <laughs> so I've hidden that away. That is no more. And I'm actually, I'm a lot better. I do still, you know, still pop a little pimple every now and then, but I'm trying my best. I'm doing it. I've, I've just had enough of like bad skin, you know, I've had bad skin for so long and I've just, I've, I've had enough. I have glitter in my hair. How? How? <laughs> okay, you can see how much that foundation has just cleared everything. Who'd have thought? And that was just one pump as well. It is quite buildable. So if you do have like really bad breakouts like I was having like a few weeks ago, two pumps of this, you'll be fine. Okay, concealer, my collection. God, I haven't used this in so long. I hope this hasn't expired. Okay, so question. I have a question for you guys. What is something that you have on your Christmas list that isn't makeup? I want to know because I know I talk so much about makeup. I rattle on about coloured eyeshadow and coloured powder all day, every day. I want to know what is on your Christmas list that is not makeup. Mine is, um, I've been reading. I've been getting into reading a lot. I love reading. I will sit hot chalky in my blanket um, at night. Oh, I love it. So I've been watching House of the Dragon with my mum. And I've asked for the Fire and Blood book because I'm like halfway through my Game of Thrones series, like the huge books. I'm very proud of myself for getting through them. Well, nearly. But uh, yeah, I am asking for the Fire and Blood book um, so that I can have a little bit of spoilers for the series. Um, what else have I asked for? Just like home things, things for the house. Yeah, just to make things a little bit more homely what else oh my god i got um this is something i bought myself so doesn't count it, it doesn't count but i just wanted to talk about it i've been wanting to see heathers the musical for years i asked for tickets for my 18th birthday i'm currently 21 i had to think about that for a minute i had to think about that <laughs> yeah i'm currently 21, I asked for tickets for my 18th birthday on the West End, because it had just come to the West End and I have spilt my powder everywhere. <laughs> Who lets me near loose powder? It's their fault. Anyway, my story, my very interesting story. I asked for tickets to go and see Heathers on the West End when I was 18 for my 18th birthday, but uh, we live quite far away from London. I know everyone thinks that England is just London, but believe it or not, it's not. Um, so we couldn't afford the travel, the tickets, the hotel, everything. So I cried myself to sleep that night. No, I didn't actually, but like I was sad, but I understood. Then it announced a tour and it was coming to Liverpool. And if you don't know, I'm in Liverpool. So I was like, oh my God, now is the chance to see it. My favorite show. And then COVID hit. So every day I would walk past the theater, the big Heather's sign outside and slowly the date got, you know, here. And I would have to walk past that theater on my way to uni every day and just think, wow, I can't see that anymore. So that was annoying, but they have announced new tour dates uh, next year. And I'm going to see Heather's. Ah, finally. Finally. 
how many years in the making? Jesus. If you don't know, I'm a huge theatre buff. Uh, I I study musical theatre. I've played Vivian Kensington uh, in May. That was amazing. Love it. I'm currently doing Rent. I'm just in the ensemble for Rent because I have a lot going on with Vlogmas. <laughs> Do not give me a main role, please. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm currently doing Rent. That'll be in the Epstein Theatre in January with that, which is very exciting. Um, but yeah, I get to see Heather's at last. Now is the time that I would normally go off camera and do my brows, but you know what? I'm just not gonna do that. I'm gonna do my brows when I go off camera to do my lashes and stuff, just because like, am I being lazy? Yes, but also have I filmed like eight videos this week? Yes, so <laughs> deal with it <laughs> in the nicest way possible. Okay. What are we doing? Bronzer. Let's make this face a little less ghostly, shall we? I'm just using my big brush. Normally I have like a whole bronzer routine. I'll go in with like a matte bronzer on like a small angle brush. Then I'll go in with like a shimmery bronzer on this big brush. But today I'm just wanting something a little bit simpler. I got a long day of filming ahead. Uh, as I said before, I'm filming two other videos today. It is currently Saturday, so you know what that means. Film until your little voice falls out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I just say? Um, yeah, the delusion and the deliria has like come in now, I think. But no, I'm loving, I know I say this all the time, but I love Vlogmas. Um, not just for the extra cash, though that does come in handy. I just love like rounding out my year of projects. It's so satisfying. Just like my Pam That Palette finale. I cannot wait. That is going to be amazing. As I said, I do have the update for that. The final update. <laughs> That's tomorrow, so stick around. Oh my god, it was it's an amazing update. I filmed that yesterday. So yeah, I, I'm so excited. I just am. Oh, I can't wait. And then, I don't know, my Pamela's eyeshadows, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that actually. Because, I don't know, I like some of the shades that I'm working on, but some of them are like, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for them to be out. So I might just do like a bit of a refresh. But I don't know, you'll have to subscribe and see. Yeah, I do like this bronzer. It has been a minute since I last used it, but I like it. Okay, for blush, I love this blush palette so much. My little Technic, hmm, which shade? I'm thinking this one. I know it's quite dark and it's very pigmented. I think I need a little bit of life in me old mug so we're gonna do it i can't believe barely anyone talks about this palette it's so good you know what i literally just want good skin for christmas that's it if i could like buy instant good skin i don't care how much that cost actually i do but like theoretically i don't care how much that cost <laughs> All right, glazed donut, let's go. Rightio then, let's finish off these uh, peepers. I think I, hmm, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Um, first of all, I'm just gonna kind of do what we did with the blues. Okay, so like I said, I just went in with Cursed to start, then I mixed Trick and Bewitched, and then I put Wish. Now I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go in with Alchemy, which is this like gold shimmer. I'm going to pop that on this part of my lower lash line. Eh, it's not giving me the effect that I want. So you know what? I know this is cheating again. But I'm going to find like a neon yellow. Here we go. This is my little yellow singles palette. I'm going to go in with this shade, which I think is food videos. I don't support Jeffree Star, just so you know. 
don't do it. I feel like it needs a tiny bit of shimmer as well. So I'm gonna go in with Little Star from the Pastel Roses, just on the same brush. And this does have a little bit of blue in it as well. There we go. I know that was cheating a little bit, but you know, you'll forgive me. Sorry. All right, I'm just putting glazed donut on my inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera, do my brows, my lashes, my liner, my lips, all that kind of stuff. I'm really liking this look. It is definitely, it, it was needed. Hang on, what time is it? It is pitch black outside. Quarter past four, that's depressing. Ugh, it honestly looks like it's like eight o'clock at night outside. That's really sad. <laughs> Welcome to December, yay! So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go off camera, do all the finishing touches. I'm really liking this look. It definitely came out different than how I was imagining it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, as I said, finish off everything, get my hair out of this bun, <laughs> and uh, yeah, come back with the finished look. So see ya in a second. Okay, so I am back with the final look. I've got my, I actually brushed my hair, wow. Uh, <laughs> I put my lashes on, we used Smother, is it? Oh Snap. Oh Snap from Colourpop on my lips, and it's a lot less pink than I thought it would be, but I'm actually loving it. And we ended up using Poolside as a liner as well. So yeah, um, hopefully I can get this edited and scheduled for tonight. I have a, a few more videos to film today. I don't think I'll hit all my, uh, my goals that I've set myself for today, but you know what, that's fine. It's okay to not do as much as you thought you would in a day. Everyone remember that, don't be too hard on yourself, it's okay. So yeah, I'm really loving this look. I think it's really pretty and I'm glad that I got to play around with my book of magic. I have noticed before that all the shimmers do tend to be quite dark, apart from this one and this one, but I don't know, I do like light shimmers. So uh, yeah, it's just something that I've noticed. This is just my baby. This is my love. This is my life. I adore this blush palette. If you haven't already, I don't even know if they still sell this. I was going to say like run out and buy it, but uh, find it. It'll probably be on Amazon or something. I don't know. But if you can get this, get it. It is so good. So good. Um, so yeah, as I said during this video, I will kind of have these products out for a little bit longer. I probably won't do an update for you uh, about them. I'll probably just like put them away in my collection when I've kind of had a nice idea about them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing videos maybe later on in the year, a little bit like Hayley does, just kind of going through my entire blush collection, my entire highlight collection, my entire bronzer collection, etc. And going through everything. And what I think about it, what I like, what I don't like, if I'll keep it, if I'll declutter it. But yeah, this uh, uh, this is the end. What That stutter was interesting. <laughs> this is the end of this video. Um, I love doing these videos. It takes a lot for me to do these videos. I always get a little bit of a rut about these videos. Um, but they always, the eye look always comes out really nice. I love chatting with you guys and hopefully you guys love them as well. This is where I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Don't forget I am doing Vlogmas. My Pan That Palette update is coming live tomorrow. So definitely like and subscribe if you have not already. You do not want to miss this update. I know I say that every month, but seriously, guys, you do not want to miss this update. It is the best one ever, I think. Have an amazing day. Have a great start to Vlogmas over every channel, not just mine. Again, support your favourite influencers. They are working so hard this holiday season. I just, everyone who does Vlogmas is just amazing in my eyes. So go and support them. Have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow for my Pound That Palette. Bye!